Thanks for joining us. It's so heartwarming um, to see all our alum tonight. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for connecting with one another. Thank you for finding one another. And thank you for supporting us. So if you're an alum, just raise your hand so we can just thank you. Who is here? Yeah. Amazing. Yay. Thank you. It's really, it's really awesome. And also, um, it's unusual, I think, in organizations to see so many people who used to work here come back. Because of course, when people leave, they usually say, I never want to go back there again. And we have so many people here who used to work here and continue to support us through our extended network. So I think many of them are sitting right here and back over here. So thank you so much. And also, thank you to our faculty who continues to draw us forward and help us think into the future. Um, we really appreciate your being here. Also, Shai Danziger, who leads that effort. Thank you, Shai. And uh, we're Zimbal and Hila. And thank you, because we, we cannot remember really anything that we're doing uh, without, without those two. And I think Ravit and Odette are out in the hallway. No, but we, where are they? OK. I didn't see, because even though I have my glasses on, I still can't see. Thank you for everything that you do. So we really appreciate it. The one person who's not in the room whose attention I just want to draw us to for a moment, because I'll come back to it, is Terry Beninga. Is she here? I want to make sure she's not here. OK, so let's just acknowledge her in absentia. She's the wife of the late uh, Simon Beninga, who started this program. And he started this program uh, in 2010. And of course, we have a graduate from 2010, 2009. Probably thought about it in 2008, right? <laughs> Probably 20 years before that, given how long it takes to get anything done. What? He hired us in 2008. Great. So um, that actually just plays exactly to where I wanted to start. Because in 2008, when Simon had the vision to start this program and hire his team and make this happen and get the university to sponsor it, um, it's worth reflecting on the fact that the companies that were leading uh, the US, at least at the time, were, as you can all see, Exxon and General Electric, Procter and Gamble. And also, you can see all the way in the right-hand column over there on the 2008 side, the market cap. So when they started this program, there was absolutely no idea that this would grow into the program it's become. And yet, they did such a remarkable job, as represented by the alum that we'll hear speaking tonight. You can see what's changed. Look at the companies that are leading the pack now. And this is the world, of course, that we have not only had to prepare for without knowing it was coming, but it helps us think about the world that we, how much the world will change in terms of how we're going forward. Just as we could not have imagined 2018 and 2008, we probably can't imagine 2028. 10 years from now, or 2030. And yet we have to, right, to be a top global school, to continue to build on the amazing work going on in this network, we have to go forward. So just to pause on the past. And one other thing I wanted to share about the past, just again, as a thought piece on how much has changed, this is a company that was started in 2003 called Half.com. And it sold a year after for about $320 million to eBay. And all that it did was sell used books on the internet. That was it. That's what it took to be successful 15 years ago. And so of course, you know how much harder it is right now. So again, the point I'm trying to make is where we started and where we are now, we have a huge amount to look forward to into the future. And this is just one representation of how the startup complexity, the complexity of the startup, has actually changed. Who here worked on a startup 10 years ago? Anybody? Five years ago? Five years ago? Nobody. It was usually much more easy. Much, much more easy. The gentleman who started this business said, when I started Half.com, which again he sold to eBay, he says, our three biggest competitors were Borders, Tower Records, and Blockbuster Video. Right, brick and, brick and mortar stores that don't even exist right now. So the world has really changed. And this is a way that I think helps us think about not just what has changed, but how we're thinking to the future. And again, I'm bringing this up because the alumni who are going to speak to us tonight, John Medved is going to speak to us in an hour, is helping to carry us forward into this future. So we've gone from a world of $100 million exits to billion dollar exits. 
right? You've all read about them. We've gone from a world of small teams to complex and independent teams, multidisciplinary teams, multiple kinds of exits, including even with different currencies, and of course, complex buyer markets. When Josh sold his business, he had basically two, two, uh, two potential buyers. Much more complex. And this is the MBA program that we have to build to. And our alum are going to help us to do that tonight. So first, we're going to welcome Jordan. Where is Jordan? Where is Jordan? There's Jordan. Yay, Jordan. Thank you. Jordan is leading an effort, I want to say. He'll say it much better than I will. Um, it's helping to take companies, including those in Israel, into the global marketplace. We'll hear from Jordan for about 20 minutes, and he's happy to talk with you afterwards if you're interested. Then we'll hear from Obichi. Where's Obichi? Ob ah, right in front of me. Um, Obichi is helping to transform the ecosystem of young thinkers starting in Nigeria, but also extending into Sub-Saharan Africa. So thank you. Thank you for helping us think about this future and how it's changing and how we have to create it. And finally, Constantine. Where's Constantine? I'm here. Yay! So uh, <laughs> Constantine, Constantine is the first in a group of uh, neuroscience and PhDs and postdocs here at the university. They're helping us translate uh, from research into practice. So thank you all. We're really grateful that you're here. Jordan, we hope you'll go first. Okay. okay, talk to us. We'll go 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll take about a five minute break for those of you who need it. And then John will join us at five minutes after seven. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks.